Venice is a beautiful and unique city in northeastern Italy, full of canals, gondolas, and picturesque buildings. It's a city of art and culture, with landmarks like St. Mark's Square and the Doge's Palace. It's a city of romance and mystery, with narrow winding streets and bridges that lead to unexpected places. It's a city of history, with centuries of stories and secrets just waiting to be discovered. This video showcases the top landmarks and attractions in the beautiful city of Venice. But first, let's talk about the history of the city. Venice's history dates back to the 5th century when it was founded by a group of refugees who were fleeing from barbarian invasions on the mainland. It grew rapidly in the 9th century, when it became a maritime republic, and its ships plied the Mediterranean and beyond. It was during this period that Venice developed its strong ties with the Byzantine Empire, and the city enjoyed a period of great prosperity. In the 11th century, Venice became a powerful independent city-state, and its influence spread throughout the region. It reached its greatest height in the 14th century, when it was a major center of trade, art, and culture. Over the centuries, Venice faced many challenges, including political unrest and the threats posed by rival cities, but it was able to remain independent until it was conquered by Napoleon in 1797. The construction of Venice on the Venetian Lagoon has been a remarkable feat of engineering and architecture throughout history. Built on a series of small islands, Venice was designed with a complex network of canals, bridges, and buildings that have withstood the test of time. Venetian builders used techniques such as wooden pilings and the use of local stone, clay, and sand to create a foundation for the city. They also used a type of mortar made from local materials and seawater which made the structures stronger and more durable. Today Venice is currently facing several dangers. The city is vulnerable to the impacts of climate change, rising sea levels, and extreme weather events. Flooding has become increasingly frequent and intense in recent years, leading to significant damage to buildings, monuments, and infrastructure. Visiting Venice is a truly magical experience. Here are some tips to help you make the most of your trip. Start planning early. Book your accommodation and transportation as far in advance as possible to ensure availability. Take advantage of the public transportation. There's no car indeed in Venice, and Vaporetto, water bus, offers great options for getting around. Pack light. The streets of Venice are narrow and cobbled so it's best to travel light and avoid rolling luggage if possible. Wear comfortable shoes, you'll be doing a lot of walking in Venice so wear comfortable shoes that can handle cobblestones. Now, let's discover our must-see sites. St. Mark's Square. Located in the heart of the city, it is a grand, open space that is home to many of the city's most important landmarks, featuring the Basilica di San Marco and the Campanile di San Marco. There are plenty of places to eat, shop, and relax making it a great spot to take in the atmosphere of Venice. Doge's Palace The palace served as the official residence of the Doge of Venice, the leader of the city, from the 9th century until the end of the Venetian Republic in 1797. The palace is an impressive blend of Gothic, Byzantine, and Renaissance architecture, and it is home to several important works of art. Inside the palace, visitors can explore the Doge's private chambers, the Bridge of Sighs, the old prisons, and the extensive art collection. Bridge of Sighs The Bridge of Sighs is a famous bridge built in the 16th century and connects the Doge's palace to the prison. Legend has it that prisoners, upon their last passage over the bridge, would sigh at the sight of the beautiful city they were leaving behind. Campanile di San Marco Built in the 11th century, the Campanile is a bell tower that stands over 98 meters tall. From the top of the historic tower, Visitors can take in the breathtaking views of the canals, buildings, and bridges that make up this romantic city. With the warm sun glinting off the blue waters and the colorful architecture, one can truly appreciate the beauty and history of this magical place. The Grand Canal The Grand Canal is the most iconic waterway in the world. Meandering through the city, the Grand Canal is a sight to behold with its colorful houses, majestic churches, and traditional gondolas. Dating back to the 11th century, the Grand Canal is a 4.3-kilometer-long waterway that cuts through the heart of the city. 
Along the canal, there are several iconic landmarks including the Rialto Bridge, the Ca d'Oro, and the Church of Santa Maria della Salute. St. Mark's Basilica St. Mark's Basilica is a beautiful and historic church known for its Byzantine-style architecture and its detailed mosaics. The basilica was built in the 11th century and has been expanded and remodeled, becoming the ornate, breathtaking building we know today. It is named after the patron saint of Venice, St. Mark, whose remains are housed in a crypt beneath the church. Inside there are many priceless works of art, including mosaics, sculptures, and paintings. The grand facade of the basilica is decorated with a mosaic of the winged lion of Venice, which is the symbol of the city. Rialto Bridge The Rialto Bridge is a beautiful example of 16th-century Italian architecture. It is the oldest bridge spanning the Grand Canal and is a symbol of Venetian culture. It features two inclined ramps on either side that lead up to a central portico. The bridge is decorated with sculptures and has served as a popular meeting place for centuries. Peggy Guggenheim Collection It is one of the world's most important collections of modern art. It was established by Peggy Guggenheim, a major patron of the arts, and contains works from the early 20th century avant-garde movements of Futurism, Cubism, Constructivism, and Surrealism, as well as American Abstract Expressionism. It features a wide range of artwork from some of the most famous modern and contemporary artists, including Picasso, Pollock, Mondrian, and Magritte, among many others. San Giorgio Maggiore San Giorgio Maggiore is an island in the Venetian lagoon known for its beautiful church and monastery, built in 1566 by Andrea Palladio. The church is one of the most well-known landmarks in Venice. The island is also home to a small community of monks and several gardens, making it a peaceful and tranquil spot for visitors to enjoy. Teatro La Fenice Teatro La Fenice is a renowned opera house. It is one of the oldest and most famous theaters in the world. La Fenice has been the home to some of the most influential operas in the world, including works by Mozart, Rossini, and Bellini. Santa Maria della Salute Santa Maria della Salute, also known as Our Lady of Health, is a stunning 17th-century Roman Catholic. Its iconic dome is visible from many points in Venice. It was built in 1630 on a site where a devastating plague had struck the city. The design of the church is unusual, with a large octagonal dome and two smaller domes on either side. The interior of the church is beautifully decorated with Baroque frescoes and sculptures, and its large dome is adorned with paintings by Titian. The Academia Galleries The Academia Galleries are an absolute must-see for anyone who loves art. Located in the heart of Venice, the galleries house some of the most important works of Renaissance art from the 14th to the 18th centuries, including masterpieces by Titian, Tintoretto, Veronese, and Tifolo. Not only do the galleries provide an opportunity to admire some of the most beautiful paintings and sculptures in the world, but also to learn about the fascinating history of the Venetian Republic. A tour of the galleries will take you through the various rooms, beginning with the Hall of the Magistrates, which features works by Giorgione, Bassano, and Tintoretto. Other highlights include the Hall of Colleoni, with its imposing monument to the Venetian Condottier, and the Hall of the Giants, with its sculptures by Sansovino and Veronese. San Zaccaria San Zaccaria is one of the oldest churches in Venice. It was built in the 9th century and is a beautiful example of Romanesque Byzantine architecture. The church is known for its stunning facade, which includes marble statues and mosaics. Inside, visitors can admire the beautiful altarpiece, created by the artist Giovanni Bellini in the 15th century. The church also houses important works of art from the Venetian Renaissance, including works by Titian and Antonio Viverini. The Jewish Ghetto The Jewish Ghetto of Venice is a unique and historical part of the city that dates back to the 16th century. As the first Jewish ghetto in Europe, it served as a haven for Jews who were fleeing persecution in other parts of Italy. The ghetto is comprised of five islands and was home to a thriving Jewish community for centuries. The ghetto contains many beautiful synagogues, which are still in use today. Palazzo Contarini del Bovolo Palazzo Contarini del Bovolo is a beautiful Renaissance-era palace. It was built in the 15th century and is known for its spiral staircase, which has a unique design. 
The palace is open to the public, and visitors can explore the architecture, courtyard, and gardens. Murano Glass Blowing Factory Murano is a small island and is most famous for its centuries-old glass blowing tradition. There are several glass blowing factories located on the island which offer guided tours and demonstrations of the traditional craft. Most of the factories also have retail shops where visitors can purchase beautiful pieces of hand-blown glass. Venice Lido The Venice Lido is a beautiful barrier island in the Venetian Lagoon. It is a popular tourist destination due to its stunning beaches, a perfect place to relax after long hours of walking in museums.